Hi, good afternoon. Today is uh, Saturday, 6th of Feb, 2021. Uh, we have been doing uh, all the previous uh, videos that we have done. They were about uh, all the veggies that we have done and uh, the seeding and the growth and now we are in the harvesting phase. And today I realized that uh, we have been planting lots of fruit trees and bushes as well. So the idea of this video is to cover what kind of fruits we are uh, planning to grow. It's a long term uh, thing uh, when you work in a food garden. It's not like a seasonal thing that you plant something and you get the fruit in a few weeks time and you move on. So we'll start with this uh, plant here. This is blueberry and uh, this has been taken from an existing offshoot of a blueberry bush. So this is already, if my camera can zoom in, we have gotten the first fruit on it as well. But I'm not interested in the first fruit. Uh, the, the, what I'm interested in is in this summer, give it as much fertilizer and nitrogen to, to this plant so it can, you know, give good growth uh, in this summer. So hopefully, definitely we're getting fruit on this uh, next year. Now, up here is uh, one of the lovely pomegranate trees. So I've been told that's, that in this part of the world, it's really hard for people to grow pomegranates. This is an experiment for us. Now this tree is in the second year of its growth. It has grown exponentially. I've given it a uh, good dry factor fertilizer, given it a bit of coffee grounds as well. And the growth so far is looking good. And I think uh, next year we'll be able to see some blossoms on it and possibly some fruit. So this is uh, going really well. So that's number two. So lots of fruits more to come. Number three, we have got uh, this variety of fig. It's called, uh, we have procured it from uh, a local nursery, Mrs. Williams. This uh, tree bears really massive size figs. Uh, we have already done the first harvest. We weren't able to capture the video of that. As I said, we, we never thought that we'd have to do a video on fruits as well. It just occurred to me today. So this variety is, like I said, Mrs. Williams. It's really nice. It's growing a really nice uh, bunch of fruits again. And the specialty of this uh, variety is we're in fab. So whatever fruit it's growing right now, it's going to ripen in April, May, as per the description of the tree. Next, we have uh, been we've been trying to procure stuff which was very uh, white wood is rare, right? So exhibit A. If you can have a look, this one is known as the botanical name for this plant is Morris Nigra, aka Black Mulberry. Now where I come from, we have got about three or four varieties of uh, mulberry back in the subcontinent. When I lived in the UK, we had uh, I've seen a few varieties up there as well. But when I was interacting with the people on social media, came across this baby, went to the store, they didn't have any, had to source this plant for me, and uh, so far, all the berry plants, they love good nitrogen. The natural uh, the nitrogen that you can give to the plant is uh, coffee ground. So when I bought this, it was less than this height, but now it has doubled the height in just uh, eight weeks. So this is the next one in line. After mulberry, you've got black currants. Uh, this tree, it doesn't look that big. It's merely what? Almost six feet tall. And it has given us uh, about what? Uh, four punnets. Four punnets full. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four punnets full of black currants from this tree. Now, what I did was uh, I took a branch of this tree and I germinated a new bush of it. It's hidden between my Russian black cream bushes, but it's a, it has done really really well so black rent it's doing really good as you can see the weather has been really jumpy this year this has been a strange summer if you can have a quick look at my russian black rim tomatoes i mean they are really taking the toasting from the sun but because of the jumping in temperature we are not getting uh, the fruit ripe the way it should be so let's take you to uh the next side of the next fruit this is a gooseberry bush, which is uh, quite rare nowadays. That's the impression that I've gotten from people uh, who I inter I've interacted with on the social media. Uh, I'm creating from 
patch offshoots and creating a few more uh, bushes for a few friends. So this did uh, a lot of goose. We got a mind of blackbirds, they never gave us a chance to have any goose breeze. We were left with like what, less than a dozen. So it's uh, it was pretty though, but the nature has its uh, course and its share. So next year what I'll do is for all the berry plants, we'll administer the bird netting. So now moving on. Again, like I said, I was into procuring uh, the plants which are hard to find. This one is known as apricot mulberry. Now, when, when this fruit blossoms on the tree, it starts off with the, a dark green color when it's not matured. And uh, in the later stages, when it's ready to harvest, it turns into a right... Um, beautiful whitish yellow color which is really good and the, the reason it's called the apricot uh, mulberry is because it's it's sweet it's that sweet that it will choke your throat it's that good so i went to procure a fig tree for uh, you know we, we plant tree for charities it's a it's a never-ending charity as for my school of thought you can disagree with that so i came across an amazing bush of loganberry so let me show you to its alligated place and it has grown almost a meter now this is a bush so this would uh, pretty much spread around the area now the next thing in line if my cameraman can zoom in on the fruit this is black boy peach the tree is massive bearing a lot of fruit uh, i think it's uh, pretty much three to four years old the tree is massive, the fruiting was massive as well, but what happened, because of the weather, that uh, we had massive gusty winds, and uh, it has pretty much uh, destroyed a lot of fruit, it, it has fallen off the tree during this. Now, the next tree that we have is uh, the olive tree. Uh, this is a little over two years old. It has not started flowering yet, but like I said, next year I'm hoping that this would start to blossom as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We have got a few raspberry bushes as well. And what I've tried doing is I've not gone to the nursery to procure uh, these uh, berries. Uh, mostly what I've gotten is from existing offshoots. I mean offshoots from existing trees. And the benefit of taking those offshoots is if you take good care of it and if you let it, uh, if you put it in the garden, give it good food, it can happen that it will start growing from the very next year. So, like I said, for the wedges, we know that we'll plant tomatoes and spinach and aubergines and sweet corn and you know, you, you get the harvest straight away in a few weeks time. But this is pretty much a long term thing. They would grow and they would bear fruit for the years to come. So that's pretty much it, uh, I think, from uh, the fruit uh, episode of uh, the Project Food Garden. We have laid the foundation to get fruits for the years to come. By the way, we are getting black boy peach. We are getting figs. So we, we are getting uh, gooseberries. We, we have gotten black currant. It's not that we have not had uh, any production from the garden, uh, but we will get lots and lots of berries. There is a patch that I've created for strawberries as well. If we could give you a quick look before we leave uh, on that one as well. So, in the last episode that I did, I told you that we had administered a bird netting on this uh, uh, patch. Now, if you look at uh, this patch, it's like a jungle of strawberries now. It's like in a self-sustaining form. And the reason that we took the netting off is because these plants are in phase of multiplying right now. 
you wouldn't believe I put I put about one dozen plants in there and they're multiplied into what about two to three hundred plants now and I've uh, given offer free a cost to all the friends uh, in the family and uh, everybody that I know that in the coming season if they need any plants more than happy to share some free of cost it's like paying it forward so this is like another berry which uh, which doesn't go away in one year so so we have got raspberry we've got strawberry we've got uh, white mulberry we've got black mulberry we've got gooseberry we've got black currant we have got uh, blueberries so lots of fruits only I'm just talking about berries other than that we've got black boy peach we've got figs and uh, we are planning to procure a few more uh, trees uh, ideally I'm looking for uh, a decent offshoot of plum and as soon as we do that we'll make, uh, make a video of that as well so that's pretty much it for now and uh, I hope you would like this episode of the fruit version of the project food garden thank you and have a good day to you all goodbye